dear students with reference to the rise of fascism in previous video i have taught you ki mussolini came to existence how he challenged to the government and four demand he introduced before the government when he had sufficient volunteers and one conference he was called at naples and 40000 volunteers participated in that conference and very interesting fact is there all volunteers had arms guns so ultimatum for ultimatum he has given means cab in cabinet five uh, government should uh, uh, appoint five fascist volunteers second was there as soon as possible government should announce new election third one economic reforms should be started very very soon and for means aggressive foreign policy should be adopted by government what will be uh, that will be decided by fascist party and after that mussolini when government had not taken concern then mussolini started his march towards rome finally what happened the weak ruler victor emmanuel iii appointed invited mussolini you come and frame the government and finally a mussolini became the head of the government and he appointed each and every volunteers sorry he means each and every important post he is given to his own volunteers police station army administration and municipalities means each and every government offices recruitment taken place and only uh, his volunteers appointed and after that he completely created the reign of terror and then aggressive policy he had he adopted and several attack taken place many island he had taken many country he had attacked when objection taken place in league of nation so he resigned from league of nation and after that uh, the relation between england uh, italy with england and uh, france deteriorated and then he moved to sorry uh, she moved to uh, germany and and after that one new uh, alliance came to this extent that is axis power rome berlin tokyo axis are axis power in that one italy was there germany was there and third one japan was there so that was the brief history i have taught you in previous video and what was the impact of fascism in this video i would like to teach you initially italy benefited a, a lot under the fascist re regime but no longer run it proved quite a disastrous for italy and her people the following were the consequences of the fascism mussolini devoted himself to make italy a powerful nation and carried out administrative and economic reforms he took measures to start stall further devolution of their italian currency he set up hydroelectric power plant to overcome the shortage of coal he brought more land under the cultivation and try to improve and expand the transport system some good deed he had also done that's why i am going to mention here second one number of the measures were undertaken to reduce unemployment all factories and mills were nationalized It means how many uh, private institutions were there they all were all were uh, nationalized means taken by government to improve the lot of improve the lot of workers various syndicates were established to to improve relations between the capitalistic and workers mussolini started an impressive public works program which included the building of road bridge canal railway schools hospitals these many many good deed he also done all efforts efforts were made to eradicate illiteracy by making elaborate provision for education many new schools colleges and libraries were set up various steps were taken in and in increase the military might of the country military training was made compulsory and efforts were made to enhance the naval power of of italy to march in it with the naval power of france and germany 
a pact just i've taught you treaty of lateran was made with the pope by mussolini in 1929 by this pact the pope agreed to accept the subordinate position to the mussolini and recognize the italian government over rome in return the pope was permitted to keep in his possession of vatican and the saint peter church under the pact the fascist government recognized roman catholicism religion as a state religion means roman catholic religion will be the state religion mussolini embarked upon the aggressive foreign policy dear students i have taught you if your policy will be aggressive aggressive foreign policy so definitely that will be that by that aggressive policy you can get you can occupy other country but it will create lot of problem for your neighboring country and after that fear will be generated apprehension will be generated mutual hatred will be generated international tension will be generated so mussolini embarked upon the aggressive foreign policy to revive the past of glory of the roman empire and make italy a great nation beside these position beside these uh, did some negative impact also there there were many negative if- effects of the fascism in italy all efforts were made to curb the political freedom after gaining power political freedom completely banned only handful of people means how many volunteers were there of means means follower of fascism had liberty but remaining people not had uh, political freedom and lo- and took all the military and civil power into the uh, into his own hand all political parties ex- except the fascist were banned single party was there after that you ideology was also there one party one leader how many opposite opposition parties were there all banned the system of jury was abolished and special courts were set up where the fascist civilian and military officials were empowered to decide political cases meaning suppose if judiciary will be there so judiciary will what is the work of judiciary so judiciary will give decision on the ground of facts but suppose if partiality will be there in judiciary then how justice will be prevail in the country press was censored the freedom of speech and organizing meeting was also prohibited mussolini crushed his opponent brutally so these are important point regarding fascism so again going to repeat about fascism in brief dear students fascism is a kind of ideology that believe, believe in autocracy autocracy means a single person will have absolute power and it is necessary for each and every person of respective country to accept his order and if anybody is going to deny his order it will be considered the statement or act against the nation and he or she will be brutally killed so i have taught you it is a policy of and means anti socialist party policy anti communist pa- <coughs> communist policy anti democratic policy anti freedom of press policy <coughs> and anti freedom of exp- expression policy and means there will be no any freedom only autocracy will be there autocratic system will be there all power will be enjoyed by a single person and that person will be dictator same happen in italy and basically italy uh, became very powerful country due to fascist ideology but some drawbacks were also there means each and every individual were not enjoying lot of only his volunteers had lot of power and society was in suffocation also means how many opposition political opposite opposition 
political part, uh, how many leader of oppositions were there they were arrested press was completely banned and how means reign of terror created by mussolini so these are important point and in this video only this much thank you and next video i'll start new dictator that is nazism and hitler about hitler i'll teach in upcoming video thank you